Hello everybody and welcome. Um, I've recently received this in the post from Bladebridge. Um, they're a great company, check them out. Uh, they sell loads of uh, reconditioned um, spec custom uh, Swiss Army knives and brand new ones as well. Um, I've just got this recently and I'm going to show you what it is. It's basically a job lot of um, wangers. Um, as you probably well aware, wangers are now a discontinued item. And uh, I saw a job lot of spares or repairs up for sale. So I bought them. Actually, this needs on there. So yeah, uh, let's see what I actually bought because I just saw them pop up and I was like, right, I'm going to have those. I didn't even look and see what they were really. I just saw that um, there you go, that's, that's Blade Bridge. There they are. Um, yeah, just look up www.bladebridge and uh, you'll see all the the great Swiss Army knives they got. So let's see what's arrived. Like I say, these are all spares or repairs. Um, so the first one, um, basically, this is the reason why I bought it because I saw this. And I saw a few others with screwdrivers, and I thought, right, I'm having them. Um, so let's see what sort of condition they're in. <laughs> they got good snap on them. And remember, these are sold as spares or repairs. Uh, you got your your nail file. You got your your main blade, and there's a there's a winger logo for you. You've got. Yes, scissors. And let's see how well scissors cut. Perfect. So there's nothing wrong with those scissors, that's for sure. Then you got your saw. You can see there's some some marks and a little tiny bit of rust on there. Saw's nice and sharp though. Then you got your your bottle opener, wire stripper and flathead screwdriver and these are the, because they're wangers um, when you actually push them in they actually sort of lock, push in to your thing and, and lock themselves so they ain't going to fold on you which is a lot different from uh, Victoria Docks and then you got the, the old style can opener there um, which is very different from society, but this is uh, the Evo range, oh, not the Evo, um, Delamont range, uh, which uh, Victorinox, as you can see, the two different shields have taken on when they bought out Wenger. As you can see, if I buy a Swiss Army knife, I really want it to have the, the screwdriver if possible. I don't know if you can see it on there, but the Victorinox one. Seems like a slightly broader um, screwdriver, and of course it's got the the awl or punch or whatever you call it. It's not a sharpened one as it is on Victorinox. As you can see, the difference between the two They're very different indeed. Um, yeah, so it's got a sewing eye as well. So very happy with that. That was the main reason why I bought it. So let's see what else is in there. So I don't know what the names of none of these are. You can see this is a well worn and well used. But um, it's got a nice blade on it. That's nice looking at least. It's, it's blunt so I'm going to have to sharpen that up. But nice snap on it nevertheless. And then you've got the, the clip blade. That's a bit sharper, but not much. But yeah, no damage on that whatsoever. That's actually, I don't know, see how long that blade is. 
So as you can see there, that is 42, 43 mil, something like that, which is the equivalent of um, one and three quarter really, I suppose. So you got clip, you got the main, you got the saw, which end is that, that end. That's pretty sharp too. That, as you can see, that's why it spares all repairs. You have to work its way back into where it's meant to go. So, um, there you go. So you've got the old style can opener again. Oh, you can actually feel the burst on that. That's, that's never been used. And you've got the bottle opener, etc. And corkscrew on the back and uh, the old, the old fashioned this one, main blade. Nail file and nail cleaner. I was in the garden today, so I have a couple of days of my nails being cleaned. I think this is the equivalent of um, Victorian Sportsman, maybe. I can't remember the models, but as you can see again, uh, can opener and bottle opener. Corkscrew. Oh, I forgot to mention about the tools. This one doesn't have any. Uh, this one's got a uh, tweezers. It seems to be missing the toothpick. And the other one that doesn't have any either. Okay, so next we have this one with the original chain on it. So screwdriver in the back, all got both the tweezers and the toothpick. Then we have the clip blade. We have uh, the main blade, and that's what the spares or repairs are on this one, obviously. And you got the scissors. Let's see how sharp they are. Yeah, still very sharp, perfect. And oh, I forgot about this, and I saw that. These you don't get on Victorinox. These are like a slip joint plier, so you can make it bigger like that. And they got the fat spring on it, so it's a lot more sturdy than the Victorinox one. The spring, at least, the handle. Not so much, it's thinner than a Victorinox, uh, the whole the whole item is, uh, but it's got a stronger spring. And as you can see, it's a slip joint plier. And the problem is when you use it, the whole thing, if you can see that, the whole thing rides up. But, yeah, very happy with that. Um, so, uh, we tried the scissors, and then you got your can opener, and as always, bottle opener. And the screwdriver on the back, very handy tool there, very happy with that. Uh, so what else we got? Last one for that bag, so main blade. A bit scratched up and everything like that, but nothing I can't fix. You have a uh, nail cleaner, nail file, bot opener, can opener, very worn scales. And on the back, all and uh, oh, what's it called? Corkscrew. That's the word I was looking for. Bloody hell. So, this one, part of the chain on it, can opener, bottle opener. As you see, all these tools need a bit of a clean um, saw. They all seem really sharp, the saws on these. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I can see something broken there. Another reason why it spares all repairs. Don't know how I'm going to get that out, but yeah, if you look there, you can see that there's only one part of the scissor. The upper part of the scissor seems to be missing. Um, I don't know, I'll go back getting that out. But uh, yeah, there's a the nail file, etc. Blade's perfect. Well, Perfectly good, put it that way. Um, yeah, 
that's got a broken scissor in. Um, so on the back, screwdriver, both tools, part of the chain. Quite happy with that. Could be a little project for me. Um, in this one, screwdriver, all. Both tools missing on there. Oh look, you know, you can see that's uh, the actual logo has popped out. That's what it should look like. Um, but the blade seems pretty fine. Got the winger logo on it. You got yeah. Nail file cleaner, etc. And your um, can opener. This one seems a bit stiffer. The tools don't have that. Well, they do when they open, but when it goes in, it hasn't got that crisp snap. And this one's a bit different because Husky branded. Um, so, very happy with that. Black scales. Um, Husky is American make, I believe, and things like Walmart and stuff like that, or Lowe's or whatever they call it over there. Um, blade. Um, nail cleaner, etc. Then you got saw. Ow, that is sharp. That's very, very sharp. Um, you got your scissors. Let's test the scissors out. Just cut me bloody nails as well. Shouldn't have done that, should I? Um, this snap on this one is very, very strong. That's why it jumps out in the end. But yeah, uh, very good indeed. Happy with that. And then the rest is the usual tools, as you can see. Um, got both side tools there and then lastly we have this with the full chain we've got the screwdriver you've got the all got both tools um, I find the wanger ones are a bit harder to get out than the, um, the Torinox but yeah you can see the little uh, toothpick there um, you've got the tweezers all good, but they're different from uh, Victorinox as well because on Victorinox, as you can see, it's on the outside. On Wenger, it's on the inside, so you can see the difference there. You can just pull them out like that. Where these ones, you've got to go on the inside of the tool and pull it out. Um, but yeah, uh, so nail file, full chain main blade scratched up a bit but nothing that can't be uh, dealt with um saw fairly sharpish um scissors um flathead screwdriver You've got a few scratches nicely used and can opener. Um, seems to be two different sizes of can opener. I'm looking at that, this one's a lot smaller. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but as you can see, there, one's a lot pointier than the other. I don't know if it maybe broke off at one point and they've re. Reground it or or what, but um, 